I'm going to show you a simple process that I've been following today to fix up a bit of flooring that had gotten a touch moldy after the last monsoon flood that we got. It got into our floors a little bit. What you see on the screen is a piece of three foot square rubber flooring except that on this edge it's been cut the cut away on a smooth line there because that one goes up against the wall or tucked in under a wall actually now that one has not been cleaned yet I've already treated the flooring in the section that we're going to work with today in Pam's bedroom by applying a mixture of two parts bleach to one part water everyone talks about using a sprayer for that I didn't like that idea and the sprayer that I first bought from Home Depot on a gentleman's recommendation there turned out to have a specific instruction in the instruction sheet that said do not use with bleach so that wasn't a good plan what we have under here this this pan this old stock pot is just upside down right now over oh it looks like the brush fell in there I didn't mean for it to do that okay I'm applying it in the bleach water mix with a four inch paintbrush just a regular paintbrush and I like it a lot better than a sprayer but before we get to that these were on top of wooden substrate flooring and of course they were dirty now this is and I think from the looks of this this is the bottom side of this one and you can see here on the top side there's a little suds there that's a good indicator that when I cleaned it that uh, there were some remaining froth I don't know what causes that exactly it's not like we've been applying soap to the floors but something does it and the way that I do it is simply to first take the power hose and work that puppy down a bit nothing to it then this big push broom that you see right here is left over in our storage shed from my days as an over-the-road trucker when we would use this to clean out the dry van 53 foot dry vans that I pulled after we had dropped off a load and we needed to make sure it was clean before we passed the trailer on to the next driver so once that's been scrubbed down a bit on both sides we flip it over and do the other side then bring it over here now there's no the distance between them is insignificant it's not important except that I, I didn't have a piece of driveway that I liked until I got down here a little ways we set up some wooden slats or skids under here just to keep them up off the dirt and the rocks and the grass a little bit so they could have some air under there and you'll note that we have right now three of them here drying now what I have done is I've taken that brush and I brushed on a coat a whole layer all over here very liberally of the bleach water mix and again two parts bleach to one part water is the way I do it and then flip it I'm wearing gloves now I've got a beat up old pair of leather gloves or rubber might be better but the leather worked for me because I don't care what happens to those old gloves and then just wait for it to dry in the Sun unfortunately as I'm about to show you I started kind of late in the day and there's not a whole lot of Sun you see over there we have more more cloud than Sun but it's still drying rapidly enough that once this has been now this one here was already dried on the other side and when I flipped it I don't know if the camera will show it but when I flipped it you could see that there was moisture hanging in on this side only where it had been sitting on top of the wood now I'm waiting to hope to the point that I cannot see any moisture tracks left there and at that point it will be time to take these bleach treated pieces of flooring back into the house and you know reassemble Pam's bedroom so that she does not have to sleep um, 
with her bed sitting alongside the TV instead over of over in the corner where she is used to doing it. It's a very simple process. It's mildly time consuming, but being as I'm technically retired, time is not a major factor in this. And we've been told that nobody's able to detect a mold smell in our house the way we're doing it, so we must be doing something right.